Herbert Hoover begins his presidency in March of 1929, believing, like most Americans, that the nation faces a bright and prosperous future. The economic crisis that begins before the year is out forces him to deal with a very different set of problems. He did try in a couple of notable cases to begin to use the power of the federal government to manage some of these economic issues. The most significant one, I think, was his support for what became known as the Agricultural Marketing Act in 1929, which in certain ways was the first serious attempt by the federal government to try to manage the enormous agricultural surpluses that were being uh, generated by the uh, enormous productivity of American farms. The law ultimately allowed the Farm Board to actually intervene in the market and to purchase farm products in order supposedly to prop up the price. The fatal flaw in the program is that there were no efforts to control what the individual farmer was producing. Hoover tried a lot of things that no president had ever tried before to counteract the Great Depression. Herbert C. Hoover, born in Iowa, 1874, died in New York, 1964. 31st president, became Republican presidential nominee in 1928. Within months of his election, the stock market crashed. Appointed head of food administration before World War I by President Wilson. Married to Lau Hoover, graduated in university as mining engineer. Definition. The belief that people can succeed on their own without the need of help from the government. The phrase is used widely by Hoover and Republicans. Later used by Harry Truman and Franklin Roosevelt to describe Hoover's failure. Passed in 1930, this law increased tariff rates on imports and exports. This was one of the causes of the Depression and caused global trade to decrease. <laughs> 